Hello everybody, good evening. My name is Bless Nagini Ron. The girl in question is my daughter. She's my first child. I will state everything that happened. I don't like trouble. I don't like wala in my life. I'm an easy going person. I don't like attention in my life. Oh, let me state what happened. February 9th was the day of their inter-house sports. That was the day they were meant to have their inter-house sports. Anybody who knows Christland knows that Christland has their inter-house sports at Agege Stadium. Last year, I was not able to go on time. My daughter was angry. She said, ah, Mommy, you did not even come on time. You did not even come and see me take part in the match first. And I was marching. I was looking for you. I said, I'm sorry. I didn't know the way. I didn't know how to find my way to Adeki Stadium. But I promise you, next year, I will be there on time. This year, I tried to go there as early as possible. I was there even before the program started. I met the admin officer, I met the principal, I met part of the PTA committee, I met parents there, we greeted, I sat down. Match pass started. When the match pass started, I looked. The first house matched. I didn't see my child. Second house matched. I didn't see my child. Third house matched. I didn't see my child. I said, ah, ah. She's in Pines, which is Greenhouse. I said, ah, maybe she's um, among the Queen's entourage. Because I remember she mentioned that she's among the, the entourage of the Queen or King or something like that. This was much, I didn't see her. I said, okay, maybe she's in the arts and crafts or home economics or IT or photography or something. Those ones all passed. I didn't see my child, I got worried. I called the school, her school bus driver. Mr. Said, please, oh, was my child among those you brought to the stadium that I have not seen her. I've been in this stadium now for going to some 30 minutes thereabouts, and I've not seen my daughter. He said, ah, mommy with me, I brought her. She's in the stadium there. Don't worry, you will see her. I quickly left to go and do some things. I said, okay, no problem. I, as this time, the match pass was still going on, you know, dignitaries, parents, teachers, you know, everybody was matching the year 12 final year students, they were all matching. I didn't want to interrupt the match pass because parents are opposite where children are kept. As after, after I finished speaking with the, with the driver, he said he, he brought her, I said, okay, maybe she got hungry and had to leave and buy something outside. Because she had breakfast before leaving the house. I made sure she had breakfast. Knowing she was going for an house spot. And she was with money. I went to the snacks point outside. I didn't see my daughter. I said, ah, where could this girl be? So I waited. Much past was over. I crossed to the other side. On my way there, I met a, a man. The man said, ah, madam, parents are not allowed at this side. I said, ah, I know. I just want to check on my daughter. I said, okay. I went in there and I saw some students there. And I asked a boy there, please. Meanwhile, before I got to that across, a bus sped by on high speed, zoomed. And I said, ah, ah, how can a bus be driving like this when you know children are in the stadium? But I just said that and I, I went on my own. So when I saw the boy, I said, ah, please, I'm looking for Whitney. I didn't know. The boy said, ah, a girl just fainted here. Yeah. But they have taken her, the school bus has taken her to the hospital. I said, ha, ah, a girl fainted. Oh, may God give her quick recovery. Why did she faint now? Anyway, I'm looking for Whitney, Adenio. She's my daughter. But I said, the girl that fell, her name is Whitney. I heard them calling Whitney, Whitney, when they were pouring her water. I said, Jesus, but it's not my own child. My daughter's name is Whitney Adeniro, and I brought her to my phone. The boy said, I don't know her son name, but I know her name is Whitney. I brought her to my phone, and I showed the boy her picture, and he said, this is the girl that fell. I said, what? What happened to her? Why, why would my child fall? She hasn't done anything strenuous. She wasn't sick. She hasn't done any, any activity. What is going on? Why would my child faint? A man was there. The man said, ah. Madam Ibilo Durosi Oshubu Eminimodo Misilara, meaning she was standing here, she felt I poured water on her. I said, ah, ah. who took her? He said, school bus. No ambulance, no doctor, no nurse, no medical personnel, nobody. There was no emergency provision on ground in a place where you have about 500 students. In a place where you have over a hundred parents, in a country where insecurity is so high, you kept our children in that field with no proper medical arrangements in case of any emergencies. 
When the boy said the school bus took, I said, oh, was it my child that was in that bus that sped by? I ran out. I met a staff coming towards me. The staff said, oh, mommy, Whitney, we've been looking for you. You were so calm and casual. I said, oh, mommy, Whitney, we've been looking for you. I am Whitney fell. I said, yes. And then she fell. He said, oh, yeah, she fell. But don't worry, she'll be fine. We've taken her to the hospital. I said, okay, let's go to the hospital. Immediately, I picked my phone. I called my husband. My husband wasn't picking. His PA said he was in a meeting. I said, please get the phone across to him. I don't care who he's having that meeting with. Even if it is the governor, go and give him the phone. It's an emergency. The guy went and gave my husband the phone. I told my husband what happened. My husband said, okay, no problem. Go to the hospital. I will make a few calls and I will meet you there myself. I'm on my way already. I asked the staff, please, where is the hotel my daughter was taking to select him as the principal? We asked the principal. Principal said it was Agege Central Hospital. I said Agege Central Hospital. She said yes. I brought out my phone. I put it on Google Map. It wasn't showing. I put it again. Agege Central Hospital. It was not showing. What I saw was Agege Central Mosque. I said, ah, Central Mosque, Central Hospital. Ma, it's not showing. She said, don't worry, just ask around. Go. They would. They would tell you. We drove out of the stadium to the gates. We asked the gatesmen. We don't know. We asked as we were driving, we were asking people, please, where's Agege Central Hospital? They said they don't know that. What they know is Agege General Hospital. And I called. I said, Ma, is it Agege General Hospital or Central? I said it is Central. It's very close to the stadium. What we could do located?